welcome back to the channel. I am getting ready to um, put this back on the uh, sawhorses so we can do some uh, we can do some work on it. And we're, well, mostly, I've got I've got to remove some staples here. Then I have to clean up uh, um, the underside. After first, I just have to route this out uh, with the flush router. Then I'll clean up the underside of here. And I'm gonna try something that Flying Cub said um, actually using the flush router to try and clean up the epoxy so I'm going to give that a go and see how that works out and then uh, I wanted to show you um, something I'm working on over here my uh, instrument panel is uh, since I have a flat top uh, fuselage open cockpit this actually ends up this is the actual shape of my instrument panel and it basically ends up about in this position right here and it's gonna actually be um, that wide it's so it's the same same size as this block and so what I'm gonna do is uh, it will have um, it, has, it has an eighth inch plywood face which you've already seen in one of my other videos the back is also 8 inch ply, which will be removable. And then the top will actually be 6 16th inch ply. And so there'll be a structure underneath and everything so that the uh, so that this backside um, will be able to come off to access kind of uh, kind of the power distribution and all the instruments and everything. And so what I did is I I took the instrument panel and I just made a form. Um, I made myself a form so that I'll, I'll clamp, uh, I'll soak the 16th, 16th inch plywood in water, and then I will, uh, I'll clamp it in this structure here, just so it kind of takes on this shape, and then I'll be able to, uh, I'll be able to use that to actually start constructing the, uh, the instrument panel pod, I guess I'm going to call it. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'll get to. I'll get that pretty soon. I don't know if I'll, I don't think I'll work on that today, but I'll get to that pretty soon and we can start uh, kind of getting that instrument panel thing put together because I have an idea of how I'm gonna um, create a cushion mount suspension for it um, by mounting some circular shaped discs underneath, underneath this plywood here. And then there'll be those uh, cushions because I want to I want to hold it within an eighth of an inch of the top of this. Anyway, I'll show you that later. I've got that all figured out how I'm going to accomplish that. So you'll get to see uh, how I'm going to do that. So it'll be completely vibration dampening uh, system there for that, and it won't. You know, it's not going to be adding a whole lot of uh, structure. And then all of my wires things that are going to go uh, forward to the uh, firewall area can actually come down through that and and go um, up to the front and be completely uh, completely housed on the inside underneath of here and I'll actually probably uh, maybe attach maybe one or two other hard points under there where I can screw a clamp to uh, whew, yeah that's a lot of talking um, I'm gonna get this off of here and get it on the sawhorses so that I can start doing something with it. All right. All right. So I made this. Uh, I made this piece that goes right here, um, and it's a pretty simple piece, just six inches wide. It has this curve in it, actually, where the uh, this is where uh, it clears it clears right here for the magneto, uh, which sits like kind of right in this area. And uh, I just beveled the edge of it 45 degrees so that it sits nice and tight up against the fuselage there. And that'll be pretty easy to get that in place. And, uh, and then I, um, I have to cut, I'm going to cut some uh, strips out of this inch and a quarter wide. I just need three of them and that'll get me this uh, strip that goes on here, um, inch and a half. And then I'll have to splice from here, uh, from here going back. So I would rather have my splice in a different location. 
Um, maybe if I cut four strips. I believe I can do that. I can actually cut four. And then I can have uh, this splice actually located here instead of uh, where this vertical one is here. So, so I'll just cut four out of that. And then uh, we can uh, get that epoxied on. And that goes all the way, this goes all the way back to right here. And it's epoxy all across here. I do have to sand just a little bit more on these top edges to get those ready. And then we can epoxy those on. And we can epoxy this on. I'm still waiting to finish the inside here with barathane. Uh, and then we can cut these pieces that slip over here and fit over this whole piece right here. Uh, so, I'm just gonna wait on that. And, uh, yeah. All right, so uh, let me cut those pieces real quick. So I've got these, uh, I've got these, these pieces on here, and uh, now I'm going to come back uh, and I'm going to cut these guys right there. So I'll get, I'll get these in here, get these uh, up against, up against here, and get that trimmed where it needs to be, and then that will run all the way out to the tail here. I've got this piece yet to do, so. Uh, yeah, so uh, I will uh, I will move on to that, and uh, we'll keep uh, we'll keep rocking and rolling here. All right, so I finished up uh, finished up this section here, and I got this this plywood on. Um, so that's all that's all completed there. That's all done, and it's all along. Along here, I got the uh, tube uh, where I had to cut into that. Obviously, that's taken care of. Um, that I don't want to talk about, but it's solved. So, no, seriously, uh, when I cut this piece, um, not only did I get it wrong the first time, I didn't account for the fact that it was actually the fuselage is already sweeping backwards at this point, so I lost that much space strictly cosmetic at this point so I just put in some uh, curved pieces that I cut to clean that up and uh, nobody will ever know except for you and now everybody else whoever sees this will know but, um, so yeah everybody will know <laughs> whoever looks at it and doesn't know they will know so this uh, I got this on um, up here in the at the front this is uh, the back of the engine area and this is where the uh, uh, 
This is basically where the magneto sits, right in here. And uh, so that's all good. And that's curing. So I'm good with that. Uh, next, I'll go ahead and get this sealed up in here. Um, I'll get the varathane on that. I just think that's one of the next things I'll do so I can get the sheeting on the side here. And then that'll be completed. And then I have to go inside the cockpit and I have to sheet underneath this triangle. I have to sheet underneath that triangle, underneath here, underneath this triangle, underneath this triangle. So I'll get some uh, sheeting and I'll clean up this epoxy under here. And I'll get that taken care of. And that'll be uh, one of the next things there. So, yeah, so, um, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I, uh, I appreciate it. And I hope you're, uh, I hope you're enjoying the videos and maybe picking up uh, a couple tips along the way. And, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll catch you later.